Many might say, what's a holiday season without trains? The family of the late Don Clark might ask, what's a holiday season without miniature memories? We keep it going for my father. Everything, everything's for my dad. It's a labor of love for Kathy Schock, whose father Don Clark died in 2010. He made her promise she'd keep the display on track after he was gone. And he says it's just a tradition. He said, I just want you to do your best to keep it going. And I will, I have help. The display built to scale is massive and much of it handmade by the late master model builder. Among the many features are Scranton area landmarks like the electric building, the Scranton Times Tower, and the Lackawanna County Courthouse. I'm just amazed at how he has put everything together and doing it the way it originally was in the city. I mean, that's the amazing part of it. Clark's family says children were a major inspiration behind this public display. That made my father so happy just to see the kids come in here. When the kids would come here, these trains were their trains. That's how my father saw it. If they touched, they broke, he fixed. That's funny. Brendan Shuey was just passing through Scranton when he brought his two-year-old son Liam to see the impressive train display. I think it's great that people, yeah. you know, try to carry yeah. on the legacy so others can enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Of all the pieces that make up miniature memories, the one that was Don Clark's pride and joy was the Nicholson Viaduct. But the one that held an especially soft spot in his heart was St. Joseph Center. My brother, when he was two, passed away there, and he had been there since he was born. So that held such a, a close, uh, close spot in my dad's heart. You can see the display Tuesday through Sunday year-round on the second floor of the mall at Steamtown near the food court entrance. In Scranton, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. In Scranton, Mark Hiller, Fox 56 News, first at 10.